look at any me major metropolitan area, whether it's Atlanta, the Twin Cities up in Minnesota, everybody is focused on urban infill. And how do you turn these methane sites, which are often old landfills, into green space and to, for the benefit of the public? A lot of advantages to re redeveloping an underutilized site, which is a brownfield site. It's been underutilized due to the real perceived presence of contamination. And these sites are often historical. Uh, they have existing infrastructure, water, sewer, roadways. And so there's a lot of benefit for communities and municipalities to redevelop these sites um, to bring them to better and higher use. A lot of the easy properties that have minor environmental issues have been redeveloped and what's left are the more complex properties and an increasing number of these have methane issues. These are old landfills which are sometimes termed as pre-regulatory landfills. Also there are stump dumps, old construction debris landfills. And whenever you have organic material naturally dec decaying, it produces methane, also hydrogen sulfide. And this can create a number of challenges for repurposing these sites. Methane is, unlike a lot of contaminants, presents an acute risk, an immediate risk, and that of course is flammability or expl explosion. Hydrogen sulfide is, prevents the same type of acute risk through asphyxiation. Um, and so these issues have typically not been regulated by states. If they are regulated, it's usually in the context of stabilizing a landfill, but not redeveloping it and promoting reuse. So this is a regulatory gap that we're seeing in not only North Carolina, but other states. One thing that Geosyntec has that um, can really help out our clients is we have the engineering, environmental engineering background to be able to handle these challenges and find innovative solutions.